Hi Tuckheads, we're back with another video and hopefully everybody's had or is having a great Labor Day weekend as we welcome you back to the Northwoods and with us getting, you know, around that Labor Day time, we gotta start thinking about ghosts, goblins, witches, and everything else. Jack-o-lantern, pumpkin. Pumpkin's a whole other story. We'll have a discussion about that maybe in a future video. It's too much pumpkin. Anyway, um, so the Halloween stuff's coming out, and I was one of those guys about six, seven years ago when Target put out all of the Jones-flavored sodas, like the candy corn, and they had an orange flavor. They, they just had a couple of really cool uh, Halloween varieties, and the little small cans, too. Loved them. They were awesome. They sell them in six-pack mini cans, about the half the size of a regular can, and they were just awesome. Every flavor was just cool. The candy corn flavor actually was my favorite. And they don't make them anymore, so it's a bummer. But trying to maybe fill in the gap a little bit, um, PepsiCo slash Mountain Dew has brought us this. It is a mystery flavor of Mountain Dew. It's called Voodoo. <laughs> Come on, right? Voodoo? I like it. Okay, so it's black and purple and orange, all the, you know, Halloween colors. And it comes in a 12-pack. I haven't seen it in anything else. And I don't think it's going to come in anything else, at two liters especially, because I have a feeling that this is a colorless soda. Um, it's a mystery flavor, obviously, so I don't know if they want people to guess. It doesn't say there's a contest. doesn't say there's a contest. So, like, guess the flavor? All uh, Lay's chips. 160 calories a can. Seen worse. Water hiked fructose corn syrup. Uh, da, 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 da. There's sucrose acetate isobutyl. Remember that in the Liberty flavor that was just god awful? Caffeine content 54 milligrams per can. That's not terrible either. So, um, mystery flavor, I'm kind of excited. I, I love anything that's a mystery anyway, and to guess it on camera is even more fun. So let's go. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna open it like like the, this thing so my wife doesn't get pissed so I can put it back in the fridge. Happy wife, happy life. Here we go. Mystery flavor. Voodoo. There she be. Any of you people that want to see the uh, actual stuff that's inside it, hit pause now. There we go. 160. Cal. <sighs> Am I going to like this stuff, peeps? Let's try it. Hopefully everybody likes the videos I've been doing lately. I know I kinda, I've been catering to two different sides of the spectrum with food reviews and opening cards there hasn't been much minnesota stuff i can do not till like the leaves start to change i'll maybe do some more minnesota fun stuff kind of like we did last winter with the uh you know the boiling water trick that was really fun here we go it's ice cold so i'm happy about that and i'm going to take a sip out of the can first then we're going to pour it in a, a glass and kind of see the soda too yeah this is a clear soda folks oh, wait What? What is that? The, the, the scent is faint, so you're not going to pick too much up off the, just the smell. Mm. That is like a Skittle. What is that? I mean, just because it's black and purple, it makes me want to think there's like a grapey stuff. There is a berry essence, okay? There, there is some sort of a berry, grapey berry kind of. But then you, there for surely, it's it's a berry of some kind. It's almost like, 
It tastes like a really fruity bubble gum. Not like juicy fruit. Don't get me. I mean, it's not like that. And it's not like the pink double bubble that, you, you know, you have on every baseball bench anywhere in America. But there's that. Like I said, when you put a handful of Skittles in your, in, in your mouth and you just start chewing them and you get that first film, you know, the taste off the, the, the actual Skittle. I know that kind of sounds weird, but you know what I'm talking about when you have them in your mouth. And the flavors just congeal and come together. That's what this really does taste like. There is a berry. There's some kind of a berry end to it. A sharp berry end. But then there's like a... Like I said, a Skittles flavor. Like strawberry orange Mountain Dew. Let's see this here. Look, I'm going to show you this, folks. Look at it. It's just white. It's just, it's white. It's like, it's like dishwater white. Like, if you, if, if you uh, open up a, um, you know, what's it called? Uh, uh, squirt. You know, squirt, fresca, something like that. I like it. It's sweet. I don't know what the hell it is. But I'll drink it. I got 11 cans left to drink, and I think I'll drink them before Halloween. Woo! Hey, I'm just going to say, Voodoo is like Skittles pop. So, if you were going to market a pop and call it like Skittles brand soda, that's what this Voodoo is. It just it tastes like liquid Skittles. Not a lot of carbonation either, as Mountain Dew usually doesn't have anyway. But I, I like the the no the no color thing too. It's just better for you. I mean, soda's not good for you. You got the hiccups now. Soda's not good for you anyway. But to not have the artificial colors always a good thing. So I think it's like strawberry orange something, strawberry orange passion fruit or something. Nah, not passion fruit. Like something weird like that. But I'll give it like a, a six and a half. It's good enough to drink, and I'll drink the rest of it, and I'm sure everybody in my house will drink it. I just wish I knew what flavor it was. I mean, it's just kind of weird. But it's a mystery, and it's going to remain a mystery until Dew tells us what it is. But it's all right. Give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments below when you try this voodoo. See ya.